welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to review my brand new Firefly FFLV Flying V model in natural mahogany finish. I got this guitar yesterday and I'm pretty stoked. Check that out. Okay, just a quick rundown on uh, this Firefly Flying V model. This is an all mahogany guitar with a natural finish, two humbucking pickups, two volume knobs, one tone, true a toggle, input jack at the bottom uh, horn of the V, rosewood fretboard, bound neck, and uh, according to Guitar Garden, these are supposed to be stainless steel frets with a uh, Nice rounded ball ends. Knock off Grover tuners. I actually kind of like the, the design of this headstock. It's not the traditional flying V headstock, but this works for me. Uh, one thing I like about this guitar is that volute. Let me kind of move it around so you can see it. Um, yeah, it's got, a, it's got that nice volute, which um, really enhances the strength of the headstock. I see three pieces of mahogany on this um, body um, right there. And then you have kind of the center block, center piece, and then another piece of mahogany right there. So the Firefly Vs come in a myriad of color options, uh, just like most of the guitars at uh, uh, Guitar Garden. Yeah. I specifically ordered this, this model in a natural finish so that I can go for that old uh, 58 Flying V look. Those are absolutely gorgeous guitars. Yeah, I was looking at the uh, the gray burst. Uh, I thought that one looked pretty sharp, but uh, when I saw this guitar natural with the um, the chevron with the um, the Cadillac tailpiece, I just instantly fell in love. And I go and replace all the hardware with gold. I'm not usually a big gold fan, gold hardware fan, but uh, with this particular guitar. You gotta have it. Okay, so now I'm on the neck pickup and I'm just gonna go through a couple of chords just so you guys can hear how this guitar sounds clean. Chow. Let's face it, that's really why one would buy a Flying V because you want to rock out and and play some riffs, play some heavy riffs. <laughs>
time to to really highlight the fretwork on this guitar. I I thought they did a, a fantastic job with the the fretwork. Um, look at that. I mean, the frets themselves are highly polished, not gritty at all. And look at those fret ends. And the uh, inlay work is nice and clean. Fretboard's a little dry. I haven't really um, conditioned it yet. But I'm going to. Very nicely done, Firefly. <laughs> When I bought the guitar, I thought I was going to have a couple of issues. Um, I thought that I will really have an issue with the placement of the output or input jack, as well as the toggle switch. But now that I actually got to play it, it's it's not a big deal. It's fine. At some point, I'm still probably going to do some mods on this guitar. I may move the output jack to here and move this toggle switch to like right there in the middle. Uh, I've seen a couple of folks at the uh, Firefly uh, forum on Facebook that did the same thing, and I thought that was brilliant. So I may do that down the road, but for now, I'm just going to keep it stock. It's not a big deal. <laughs> had this guitar only for about a day and, and I've been playing the heck out of it and um, so far like I said I'm, I'm super impressed with the fret work uh, I haven't encountered any buzz yet I have another um, Firefly that I bought about a month ago and and when it arrived the, the fret work on it was great uh, but ultimately about three weeks later it started developing fret sprouts so I'm not I'm going to be expecting the same thing with this guitar, especially I, I plan on just keeping this guitar here in the garage uncased, but right out of the box, this guitar plays really, really well. And in fact, I didn't have to touch anything other than tune it. Um, okay, so uh, what are my thoughts on the guitar? Well, first of all, I, I, I'm really digging this guitar. I love the shape. Uh, it's been a while since I had a Flying V. I think the last time I, I, I had a Flying V was back in the early 2000s. So this is kind of nice. Um, it's a beautiful guitar. I feel like a, a, it's pretty flawless. Uh, my This Firefly had some uh, cosmetic issues, uh, but this one I really couldn't find any. So I am pretty impressed with this guitar. Um, it plays really nice out of the box. The setup is really, really well put together. Um, the neck on this guitar is a little bit on the, the thicker side. So, um, and that's, uh, the neck's actually very similar to the Les Ball. Uh, I don't know if that's just a standard uh, Firefly neck, but uh, definitely thicker than a, a Fender Strat or what have you. Uh, I have a P 
PRS of, of 594 and the neck is uh, very similar to that. So that's a pattern vintage neck. Um, tuner seems solid. Um, now that I've played this guitar a little bit more, I, I, I think uh, it needs to have a little bit of an intonation adjustment. Uh, nothing, no biggie there. It's a pretty easy adjustment, so that's not going to be a problem. Um, the pots on this are a little bit better, I think. It cleans up a little bit better. It's got a little bit better taper than the pots on my Les Paul. Uh, of course, I've already up upgraded the pots on this one, so it's a lot better now. But the stock uh, uh, pots kind of sucked. And this, I, I don't know if it's just me, this feels a little bit better. I feel like it's got a little bit better. It's still not the greatest. I'm, I'm still probably going to upgrade the, the pots on this guitar. Um, I just like that kind of that linear taper, you know. Um, like I said earlier, I thought that I, I was going to have some issue with the, the placement of the output jack and the toggle switch. It's not really bothering me. It's fine. I uh, may just kind of keep it as is. Um, what else? The hardware seems solid. I don't think that, that I would need to really replace other than for aesthetic purposes. Like I said uh, earlier, I may replace all the hardware with gold. In fact, I will replace all the hardware with gold because I'm just going to go for that, that old school, uh, vintage Gibson, uh, vibe. Um, yeah, I like this guitar. I'm doing this a lot. I mean, the, um, <laughs> because most guitar most players who buy firefly eventually end up replacing pickups anyway i think um i'm definitely getting a lot more um uh feedback on these pickups than the stock p90s on my last fall um and there's a lot of reviews online where they talk about how the newer pickups are a little bit better but uh, I noticed the, the ones that they're reviewing are the ones with no covers on. Obviously, mine's got the cover, so maybe that is contributing to the microphonic. Um, um, it's not bad, though. I've been playing this with, with pretty, you know, I mean, this is a lot of gain. <laughs> it's bothering me as much but you know down the road i definitely plan on replacing the pickups um uh, you can pick up some some really nice ones at, at guitar fetish right so there's a i think i can get one for about 35 bucks uh so that's not too bad um you know other than that man this is <laughs> so this is my second firefly and I've been pretty stoked, man. Um, uh, the Firefly bug has definitely got me uh, very addicting. And I gotta be careful about it, otherwise I'm gonna start buying a new guitar every week. Um, but I'm pretty impressed. This is, like I said, my second one. That's my first one. I still love, love that guitar a lot. That's my very, uh, not my very, very first P90, but my the only P90 that I have currently at the moment. and. Um, Love it. That guitar plays well. I did some upgrades on that guitar. I uh, replaced the pickups, uh, replaced the electronics. Um, and now it just it's just amazing. It plays like a dream. This one's got a ton of potential. I think it looks really, really rad. Um, the body, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I know it's a little bit of an asymmetric shape. It's not the traditional uh, symmetrical flying V. It doesn't really bother me that much. I, I, it, everything on this guitar just feels really, really solid. The, um, you know, the girth of the neck 
feels really, really good. Um, the Rosewood fretboard, although it's a little dry right now, that's that's an easy fix. And then the the fret the, the frets themselves, frets are amazing. Um, you know, a lot of people are are raving about the Erd guitars and the um, you know kind of what is that latitude I'm hearing online. And these are amazing fret work for for the price. Um, like I said, I paid about two hundred and twenty dollars for this guitar and. and you know the amount of, of the quality that you get for that amount of money is just mind blowing to me. Uh, especially since you know, I, growing up, you know, even back then, a uh, Mexican made Fender Strat, um, what cost about 300 bucks, 250 bucks back in the days, and um, you know, they were pretty pretty iffy back in the, those days. Uh, if you get a, a cheaper Squire back in those days, you know, forget about it. They're, they're definitely beginner guitars. But but this, for the amount uh, of money that you're paying for, I man, I don't know how they're doing it, but it's pretty amazing. Um, like I said, this is not, this is a three piece mahogany body, which doesn't really bother me. It is what it is. It's good, it's fine. Um, you know, the pots on this will probably need to be upgraded. It's not the best, but it's a little bit better, I thought, than the um, the pots on my uh, Les Paul. Um, pickups are probably gonna uh, be upgraded at some point. They're not bad, they're absolutely workable. If, you know, if you're not really gigging, these pickups are just fine. And this pickups can do that. <laughs> here in the garage um but yeah the, the pickups are are totally workable they're, they're, they're okay. they, they get the job done um but yeah i don't know what else to say other than man this is another score i'm pretty stoked about this i'm gonna be playing the heck out of this guitar uh i'm definitely gonna take this to a gig I uh, love, like I said uh, uh, earlier, I love the volute on the back of the headstock. I think that's a really nice touch. Uh, gives that headstock a lot more, a uh, uh, lot more strength. Um, um, which feels nice. So yeah, man, the only thing left to do with this guitar is to set it up like a 58 Karina Flying V and, and then I'll be sad, man. Uh, I'm pretty stoked. This is this is really cool. I, I'm I'm really really digging this. And man, I hope Firefly uh, Firefly, please stop putting out some some so many cool guitars. Cause man, I'm gonna go bankrupt. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for um, joining me again in my channel. And uh, like always, if you have any questions, feel free to just drop it down in the comments. I'll see you all later.